Hey everybody, welcome back to another Jackson Jet Setting Hotel Review. Today we're checking out the JW Marriott Tampa. It's a pretty brand new hotel located right in the middle of downtown Tampa. It's great for a pre-cruise stay or business. I was here pre-cruise, so I walked right to the port. It's very convenient. Everything feels really fresh here. I love the entrance here with this cascading waterfall. The lobby's nice and large. They have a nice bar right there. Uh, we're gonna take you through all the public spaces of the property, as well as my big sweet upgrade that I got as a Titanium Elite. Um, I was staying here on points for 42,000 points a night, which I thought was a pretty good deal. So you just saw the coffee bar over there. This is a little concierge desk right next to the check-in desks. They have a cool little meeting room that's suspended above the lobby and the bar was of course bustling at night. It's also a restaurant. Up on the pool deck there is six, which is normally served in lunch and dinner. It's a pretty chilly morning here in Tampa, so a lot of things were closed up midweek. Get this nice deck that overlooks all of Tampa. Uh, you have some Tampa Bay views for sure. Cool thing about this hotel is it's connected to the Marriott Tampa, so you do have a few more restaurants and stuff that you can walk to connect to the Sky Bridge. Just a little shot inside the six there. And then now we're gonna walk over to the pool. You have this nice little event space over here, cool place to kind of hang out at night or in a warmer afternoon as well. Definitely a high-end feel here at the JW. I like these newer JWs that I've stayed at. Uh, if you like this type of content, Feel free to subscribe to the channel. I got a lot of hotel and resort tours out there, including other JW Marriott's around the world. Nice little pool action there. I like how it's flush with the pool deck. Now let's take a look at the gym, which is also located on this floor. A couple Peloton bikes, a couple squat racks, lots of cardio machines. Didn't want to disturb too many people, so I wanted to get a shot there. And then they also do have a spa uh, it was closed up when I was doing my video early in the morning, but here's what that looks like. They have a little treatment room actually right outside that you can get a quick massage as well in the chair. Pretty big convention hotel, so there's lots of convention space uh, on floors two through five. There's that suspended meeting room again, which is pretty cool. So on this level, there's actually a sky bridge over to the Marriott, as I mentioned earlier. So you can walk over there and grab Starbucks. I know they have a Starbucks over there if you're brand loyal to them. So as a Titanium Elite, I was lucky enough to get club lounge access. So that's included as part of the benefit of being Titanium and Platinum. So that includes my breakfast in the morning as well as some more d'oeuvres at night. They do have an honor bar, which I felt like the prices for the drinks were a little insane for an honor bar. Uh, but the food quality was absolutely excellent at this club. I uh, wouldn't hesitate eating there again. So as a Titanium Elite as well, I didn't have to select breakfast as my welcome option, so I got another 1,000 Marriott points as well. Always helpful, especially on an award, so you get some of your points back with those welcome bonuses. So this is all the evening setup. So you have a little bit of charcuterie, some hot dishes as well. Now let's check out my one bedroom suite. Uh, one of the better suites I've been upgraded to in the Marriott program for sure. This is 2086, so this is on the 20th floor. As we walk in, it's truly massive. Um, it's all kind of interconnected in sort of a square pattern. So we're gonna visit the coffee bar first. some drawers for storage there and we're gonna walk into the living room it's a big massive television nice little work table there too that couch does pull out Nice view of the tram line right there. Lots of good stuff in Tampa Bay. It's a short walk over to the Florida Aquarium and a couple of museums too, if you're in town and you have some time for some touristy things. Nice king bed here. 
fun little couch at the end of the bed, kind of slip your shoes on, that sort of thing. And then now we're gonna walk over, check out the alarm clock, which does have contactless charging, so you can charge your, your newer iPhones on there. Some more storage underneath the TV. Then we're gonna check out the closet right here. Of course, higher end hotel, you got some robes, and then you got your iron. And the bathroom is really nice. Love the shower. Love the separate bathtub too. So people uh, that do want a bath, you have that big soaking bathtub better than kind of the shower tub combos that can happen sometimes in the older hotels. Does take up more space, so this may not be available in one of those basic rooms that you could get. Did use my Sweet Night Award here, so I was pretty happy with this upgrade. So that's about it here at the JW Marriott. Thanks a lot for watching. 